little bit of a problem in my studio. After that final push, uh, my studio, I know you're supposed to keep your studio clean and well organized and that aids in productivity, but clearly that didn't happen in the final push. Figured we'd take a look at an overview of the last month getting prepped for the Family Matters show. Uh, the first thing we're going to take a look at is uh, a week of collaborating with Henry and Harris on uh, finishing up some finishing up some pieces. And so in uh, mid-December through late January when Scarlett came home from NYU and Henry came home from Cooper, we spent um, every day in the studio. Harris and Henry and I spent every day in the studio Harris was finishing up some paintings and Henry was working on a new set of paintings that uh, are aluminum foil and black, uh, black paint with resin. So there's a set of, I think, 15 new paintings from Henry. Henry was, in fact, in the collaborative process, was redrawing my Cyclops head. So um, uh, largely we used his uh, these paintings is the basis for the murals that were in the uh, that are in the show. I think there are eight sculptures in the show. Most of them have been the result of CNC based processes with a lot of handwork, but the most recent crop has involved some pretty heavy duty 3D printing along with CNC and handwork. I'm going to show you that. Harris's traditional palette is fairly desaturated. Uh, he really, uh, if you look at a, a lot of the work in the show, a lot of it is extremely desaturated uh, color palette. Um, in order to get that work to mesh, uh, in order to get it to feel more, is some of the work to feel more as if it's part of uh, part of this collaboration. I, I uh, asked Harris to at least briefly work in a higher key, uh, but reductivist color palette. Over a two-day period, I, I did a three-quarter scale. I produced a three-quarter scale um, test of the, of the mural here in the studio. Oh, cool. That's great.
24 hours of the install was about just testing the the um, testing the, the mural and making sure that uh, the the kind of two color almost uh, two color process using uh, stencils um, that's inspired by screen printing uh, would work in, in the space of for the first 24 hours uh, Lindsay Camillo Allison Wong and I um, mocked up not mocked up sprayed painted and uh, installed about 15 feet by 15 feet of the mural Gallery wall height is 15 feet 5 inches, and each wall was uh, 37 feet long. And there was a third wall that was 15 feet long. So what is that? That's about 100 feet, um, 100 feet in length of of murals. And I think it took four and a half days of working a 22-hour day, 22-hour day, then a day off, and I think three 18-hour days in order to complete the murals before the rest of the installation, the cleanup was kind of insane because we used um we used i think 2000 uh, i think we used 2000 uh thumbtacks in order to hold really the good. in order to hold the uh stencils in place so at the beginning of this process i used the lidar that's on the back of this uh it's on the back of this iPad Pro to do a 3D scan, a three-dimensional scan of the gallery space. I had absolutely no idea what, how much work would fit in the space. Harris has approximately somewhere on the order of 200 uh, paintings. Henry has uh, or had a similar number of pieces, had a similar number of pieces prior to selling uh, in the last show at Wasserman, Wasserman Projects. And then my studio is absolutely stuffed with work. And one of the themes for the project was about production, uh, was about this idea of ceaselessly producing work. So I had no idea what our work would look like in that space. And what I, what I decided to do was to take, to, to make a LiDAR scan, a three-dimensional scan of that space, and then to reconstruct it in Cinema 4D, and then to, to attempt to lay the show out. Now, I wasn't trying to get an Allison Wong, the gallery director's uh, business. And as a matter of fact, uh, after, after showing the, the um, after showing this kind of simulation to Allison, a lot of a lot of uh, she made a lot of changes to the curation of the actual work that would go in the show. It was just the basic concept, but maybe what, what we could do is take a look at the 3D scan and then take a look at the initial one of the initial the second round proposal for how the the gallery space would look, and then what it will do is it'll cut back and forth between that and the actual the actual space itself in the opening. Part of this show was about building a collector base for both Henry and Harris as well as for me. And, uh, you know, Harris is, what is he, 15 years old. A lot of those paintings were done when they were 14. Henry is 20. So the work, you can go to Wasserman, Wasserman, you can Google Wasserman Works and find the price sheets for the stuff a lot. I think a lot of the work has already sold, but the work is priced in order to to uh, to build a collector base, so hit Wasserman Works if you're interested in some of these uh, some of the paintings or some of the work. So we made an artist statement for the show. It's a broadsheet format, which is basically a newspaper, 16 pages. Uh, it has a uh, written artist statement giving context to the work. It shows uh, some of the work from the show, pieces that haven't been in the show, and then uh, some of Henry and Harris's work. 
It's available at the link above if you collect things like this for $1.99 plus uh, shipping. All right, well, that's it. Till next time, stay strong.